So here's the issue. The door is rubbing. It's rubbing on the bottom. I can hear it, I can feel it, and now the tenants have to yank this door open. So, do you just pull the door off and shave it? No. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is lift this thing. And I'm lifting up on the handle and I don't feel anything wiggling around. Now this jam is cracked, I can see, but these hinges feel pretty tight. So I don't think it's the hinges or the jam that's loose. But it's a very old building, I've been here before, and these things can move around. So before we do anything, let's just look at the gaps. So the gap down here is non-existent, it's rubbing. But we do have an adequate gap over there, and we've got like a quarter inch gap right here. It's a little more narrow here, and up here we have like a quarter inch or more. So think about it, if we could take the door and kick it out like that, it would raise this lower corner and this side would go that way and we have the gap to do that and the top side would also go up and we have the gap to do that. So I would loosen the screws on the middle hinge and the bottom hinge and then put a shim behind that hinge and that will kick the door over and raise this up and we'll see if that solves it. So I've got the door open so I can access the hinges and now I've got my wedge under there because when I remove those hinges the door's going to want to fall so I want to get that door stabilized. Now I can loosen these hinges and when you have three hinges like this and you have to move one, uh, loosen up this one and I'll try like two shims under here and four shims under there and that should move the door enough. We'll see what happens. Look at that. It's not hitting anymore. And I just want to double check and make sure it's enough and that appears to be enough. So I'll put in the rest of the screws and check it again. And there we go, no more obstruction. Now you see how this gap has gotten more narrow? This gap's got a little wider, and now this gap is all even. And there's another great example of what you can do when you learn the skills of a specialized trade.